boop, 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 boop. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm alive. Hi. Excuse uh, my terrible appearance. Uh, I'm warm. It is a warm day. So, uh, as we're playing Dredge today, it does have fish, Quill. It's okay, we, we are playing fish game. Um, so we will be doing uh, a little bit of fish. I don't know. Well, if anything, I don't feel lovely. I don't feel 100%. So, uh, when we're actually in game, there won't be uh, <coughs> um, webcam. But there might hopefully be a cat cam if I've lined it up correctly. Uh, so we'll still be able to see Winnie and all her obvious glory as she is sat here now. Um, in fact, I think I may have... Because usually she sits on the top bit, and now she's sitting on the lower down bit. So I may have to adjust it. But we can do that when I get into game. That'll be fine. I hope you lovely people are well. I was going to attempt to stream during the week. But it's just so fucking difficult to find the time when you work a full-time job as well. Like, uh, I, finish, I finish work at 5. I get home... Round about ready for six. I need to think about like working, like dinner in there, and any like chores I need to do. And then when that's done, then I can think, do I want to stream? And I'm like, fuck, I'm tired. I can't be able to stream. And like, when I'm thinking about like engagement times as well, like, is do I would I get more engagement if I streamed like later, like say nine till twelve, like my friend Andy does, or would it be better for me to stream like say from like seven till? Uh, 10 or something like that and like get three hours in that way like where what would be the best slot to get interaction in and stuff so it's all things to uh, I, I think about in my mind when kind of working this stuff out because I just well, I just would like to stream more and kind of make something out of it but it's difficult to do need to work out all the logistics um what else did we do this week? Uh, well, last Sunday was uh, we did the uh, GGHQ Wreckfest night. That was a lot of fun. Got to uh, drive around in my ice cream van and crush some people. Absolutely devastated. Cruthal one that I think I took like 90 points of health off him in one hit. It was just... Whoa. I mean, I didn't win the race at all, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun indeed. Um, anything else going on? Oh, uh, looking at the activity... I've had a new follower, a Joseph2680. I well, don't know if they're here now, I cannot tell. But if they are, thank you for the follow. Well, it's three days ago they followed. Oh, so when did... Wait, three? I didn't stream three days. Who? I mean, why have they followed? If maybe they watched the VOD? Maybe? I don't know. Or saw a clip? They didn't post any clips. Mystery follower. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye out for them. Let's see when they come in. Interrogate them when they come back. Um, I don't think there's really much else going on in the land of Fletch. Just work, sleep, cat, uh, dredge, weekends. Uh, oh, I won't be. Well, I might stream tomorrow, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to uh, my grandparents to do some garden. No, I'm clearing out the pond for my dear old granddad. Getting rid of the uh, the pond pond weed that grows on top. Get rid of that. He might try and make me get rid of the stump as well. A pond with fish? There is fish in that pond, yes. There's about 12 fish in that pond, I believe. They're all uh, descendants of, uh, I think, goldfish that I, we gave them when I was a child. Because our fish tank broke. And we're like, well, we didn't want to get another fish tank. We wanted to get rid of the fish. Stick them in the grandparents' pond. And uh, this, that's when we found out that uh, fish grow to the pond or the environment that they're in. Because uh, they just like exploded in size and just bred like crazy. Uh, but it doesn't just have fish, it definitely does have newts and frogs in as well, and dragonflies. It has lots of stuff because it's out in the country. It's out in a country pond. So that also means that there are herons that appear every now and again, uh, which is not great for fish. Uh, so yeah, so I might, depending on when I get back from there, I might do a stream in the evening. So at least kind of like two streams in the week. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll play things by ear. Uh, but for now, what we'll do is we'll do some fishing now. I just realised I haven't actually got my controller. Is it down here? It is down here. I need my controller. Let's do some fishing and dredge. Move that out of the way. But uh, I hope you're doing. A good pond. It is a good pond. I hope you guys are, are doing well and having a good week. Or have had a good week and having a good weekend. 
and uh, we will I will change to the other other screen where we shall get into into a bit of dredge. Have uh, we got Winnie Cam up on here? Uh, we don't, not yet. Oh, it's not even picked up the game. Are we going to pick up the game? We picked up the game. There we go. All good. Uh, and let's see. Where's so uh, Winnie Cam? Is Cam Winnie Cam Cam two Cam two? Where's Cam two Cam two Cam two? She's in the wrong place. Ah, she's further down than we thought. We have to do some adjusting quickly. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right, so if I, I have to remember what the button is, I'll bring you down a bit. It's Dale. Bring it down. Bring you down here. Bring it across. Up. Here. Then we'll move you back up to about there. There we go. So you can have Winnie on camera all the time as well. Don't you dare move. You move, I'll have to redo it all again. In fact, I might bring it up a bit just in case she, she, if she puts her head up. God, I just can't work with animals. What they said in the movie industry. She'd never work with animals. Ah, it's happening! As I'm adjusting cat cam, we are getting raided by Pirate Lassie. We're boarded. That's very kind of all oh, another kind of like sea themed being boarded by Pirate Lassie with a party of uh, Buccaneers. Right. Uh, welcome, Pirate Lassie. I, enjoy, I enjoyed watching and controlling your game of uh, Vampire Survivors. It was, uh, it was great fun to see, especially Panic Time. That was ridiculous. I didn't realize that's what it did. Um, uh, I'm going to load into this one. So apparently we've done 31 days and we have two relics, which is quite good. I feel like I need to get better lighting for Cat Cam because uh, she's being a void. She just absorbs all kind of light, and when she's like, depending on what, what way she's facing, currently she's just looking at me. How do you look over here? People here, I might have to put like googly eyes or something on the webcam so she thinks of the person that she can look at or put something dangly in front of it. But, uh, she will keep looking at the camera. But no, she's just got to pour out and she's looking at me because she loves her dad. He's daddy's little girl. Uh, what was I even doing last time? Oh, I was working towards um, uh, an upgrade, I think. Uh, wow, Jesus Christ! Fish time. Fish time. Hey, cool. Thank you for resubbing for three months. That's very kind of you. Very generous. No, I appreciate that you have like a prime sub and you can give it to anyone. The fact you give it to me, it's very, very nice. I means a lot. Uh, the cat cam, that is. Oh, what, you don't love everything else, Simon? You just love the cat cam? You don't love me? Don't love the game? Just cat cam? Uh, shipyard, is it shipyard? Mm. Oh, wasn't shipyard. How the fuck, what was I? Was it floating dock? There we go, that's what I was doing, floating dock. Uh, so we need to get two more bits of cloth and have five hundred dollars. How many dollars do we have? Three hundred and ninety-four. That's not too bad. We're doing okay. Uh, how are we doing on our uh, pursuits? Uh, can I plead the fifth? Fine. You know? Be like that. Uh, don't declare your love for, for me or anyone else. You're just the cat cam. Wait, is it just the cat cam that you love or do you love the cat? That's the real question. That will determine a lot of things. Uh, pursuits. So we need to search for relics. We've really let like the collector down. We haven't actually looked for any of the relics. And catch a rare fish. Uh, I think we probably need something special to do that. Um, so we've got. We know there's a couple of relics around here. We briefly went towards the Devil's Spine to catch a special fish for uh, the dude that lives uh, or lived around here, the whispery evil dude. They were there. Uh, so let's let's just undock and uh, see what occurs. I have to remember all the buttons because it's been a while. Got a Uh, I don't 
tell you what, let us let us leave. Let's go and get another relic, shall we? Just that we haven't got anything in our inventory. We've got some explosives, we'll need those for later. Oh, it's already quite late. Ah, risk it. Nothing wrong with being in the open sea late at night, as we have proven before in other other streams. Be fine. Nothing bad ever happens at night. No, nothing. Jesus, they just popped out of nowhere. Go away, whispers. Go away. Don't want the whispers. Oh. There's another boat here. Oh, this is where the photographer is. That's right. Uh, oh, the, oh, maybe this is where the camera fell. But maybe it's not relic. Maybe that's the camera. into something we don't want to run into. Boost away. We close. We're going completely the wrong way. I'm going to go in this way. Here, camera, camera, camera. We're getting close. Even about here. Maybe here? Wretch. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's all gone wrong. Oh, terrible. It's fine. We're all fine. I'm just getting back my sea legs. It's all good. It's all good. Chalice. Uh, you can go there. Inspect. A collection of cases have washed up against the shore. Some have already split open and lost their contents to the waves. Well, look for valuables. Uh, we have found photography equipment. Uh, place. There. There we go, so we found photography equipment. There's all. Oh, what's this? Like sparkly fish in the bottom. I don't like all the eyes. All the eyes are a bit worrying. So we'll we'll retreat back to the photography hut, I think. It was this way, that way, over there. What are you? Fish. Ooh, egg. A moonfish. The opposite to a sunfish. Uh, I don't know why I said I would fish again because I literally can't fit it on. Uh, unless. Do, no, even if I move the chalice. Uh, yeah, no, I can't fit it on top. I just have to discard it. Check it back. Can't keep it. Everyone loves eyes staring at them constantly, right? Yes, constantly. Constantly staring at them at night. Just staring. Deep into your eyes. Oh, Ooh, no, fuck off! <laughs> nope. Uh, do not want. Do not want. It's fast. I don't like how fast it is. Oh god, I'm gonna burn out the engine. It's still there. Ooh, boy. Ah. It's all good. All good. Safe. We're safe. It's fine. Nope. No, we're not. We're not safe. We're not safe at all. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Let me get to a dock and sleep. Get rid of this fucking... Ah, I lost the moon face. <sighs> Rest. First time chat. Hey, Sinlink. It gives you the cozy feeling of someone watching out for you. 
<laughs> hey Sin, how's it going? Welcome to the chat. I hope you're well. Right, photographer. Oh. Uh, you have the lenses. Oh, I hope they've not been damaged by the seawater. Oh, well, that's the last thing on my mind, really. I should have been chased by a giant glowing stin stingray. Uh, she takes the case from you and inspects each lens carefully. Hmm. They seem mostly unharmed. Nothing that some careful polishing can't remedy, at least. As promised, you should take my spare camera. The lens has nothing special, but it should allow you to capture some good shots. Hmm. If you wanted some advice on locating wildlife to, photogra uh, to photograph, just say the word. Uh, about black fish, about mammals, about birds, about reptiles. Reptiles? Mm -hmm. I'm glad you asked. Not many consider reptiles when they think of the ocean. Uh, loggerhead turkle, turkle? Yeah. Uh, tell you what, I'll have a quick swig of my drink and we'll resume the talk. Because my lips are a little dry. Logo head. Oh my god. It's because I'm tired, right, guys? I didn't sleep well. It's been warm and muggy. Loggerhead turtles are a common sight in the temperate waters around the Marrows and Gale Cliffs, though they can be hard to spot in the water. Mm. When it comes to larger reptiles, they don't get any bigger than the saltwater crocodiles. The mangroves of the Twisted Strand are the perfect environment for them. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No, nope, that's all good for me. I don't really want to know about the birds or anything else for now. I kind of just want to get back to a dock I can repair at. And not have to... Uh, Uh, vaguely on topic for the stream, I've just started reading uh, China Mayville's Kraken. It's about a giant dead squid that goes missing and maybe a god. Interesting. Like. That was a very loud gurgling roar that made my controller vibrate incredibly. Violently. Uh, why did I dock here? Because I can't actually repair here. So I have to go to the other side. So at least I didn't lose the chalice. I'll go back to the marrows and sell that. Dock. Uh, shit. Yeah, repair. Repair all sixty dollars. Uh, ding. What does ding mean? Ding mean something? I want to go to the lights. I think. That's where. I have a feeling that that lighthouse is just going to be like my safe point, like I know that's always going to be the Marrows, I think. Yeah, maybe it will be, yeah. Uh, how do I use camera? Oh, Moonfish. Uh, brilliant glittering scales give this fish the name uh, uniquely. It's the only known warm-blooded fish. A warm-blooded fish. And how does it survive? <laughs> uh, anything else to inspect here? I've already, I've already got everything I need from here. Uh, squid gods sound fun. I saw a documentary about how squids are actually so smart they could be able to take the same evolution of course we did. Uh, interesting. I mean, there's, I think there's quite a few, like, uh, sci-fi shows where, like, um, <coughs> the, like, say, an alien race comes down, and then when they encounter, oct like, octopi or squids kind of thing, they're like, oh, I see you made it to the planet also, implying that they're aliens, because they're, like, so intelligent kind of thing. Just do a little bit. 
fishing for some mackerels, you know. Just fill up before, you know. Go on, you mackerel. Fill out me cargo. Go drop all these off. Go back to the, the uh, what's his name? Trader? Is the trader's name is? Where he buys all the, the trinkets. Uh, hello, fishmonger. Uh, haven't seen that strange, uh, strange red light for in a while. Wonder what it was. Uh, wasn't that the first relic we picked up? I believe. Uh, Saddle fish for 64. Yes, I will. I should really start doing some more like the crab fishing. Especially now that I've got one of the things that increases their length. So that's a 4x4, 4x4, 3x3, 3. I mean, I could just do that one. 2 per day. But they do cost quite a bit. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Squid surgeons would be amazing. All the extra scalpels. Mmm, yeah, because I didn't need that in my mind. Uh, apparently squids can learn by observation, uh, which is a big deal in intelligence research for biologists. So that's a great idea, right? Uh, squid surgeon, uh, the one cephalopod ER team. Think of all the time it would save. I mean, because like if there were, like you could do one squid surgeon who'd be able to probably do because uh, you only have one surgeon in a team anyway. So you could either have it so there's a squid surgeon who would also do all the jobs of all the people in the team, so they would only need the one squid, or a squid doing four surgeries at once, maybe. I don't know which would be more impressive. Uh, it's a lot of trinkets. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to do crab hats. Uh, actually, what we'll do, we'll, we'll have we'll rest tonight. We won't go out for tonight. Did he? Oh, this one. So he does. Yeah. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. What's wrong? Stay with him. What's wrong? Stay with him. Stay with him. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body, and his breathing becomes laboured. Are you all right? He seems unable to respond. He strange, clenching his fists, his uh, eyes shut tight with the uh, uh, with the effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. What happened? You notice his neck and overalls are covered in dark fluid, the same dark fluid that was leaking from the package you delivered earlier. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. <sighs> hmm. We'll have to check back with him again at some point. I didn't realise something had changed with him, because usually, like, when there's new stuff, you get, like, a little greener, a little, like, you know, there's something new uh, notification, but we didn't have that. But yes, uh, I'm sure he's fine. We'll check back with him in a couple days, you know, see how it's going. Um, I don't feel great about resting here now, but, you know, we'll we'll rest and go out looking for uh, that cloth so we can upgrade our hull and make ourselves a bit tougher. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, we need to find...
find some cloth and stuff. One can't even bleed a biscoop on the dock in peace. Outrage. I know, I'm terrible. I'm one of those horrible people in the public who just like approaches you if they, you know, think you need assistance or something like that. Yeah. I'm like the, the hero that would get sued for saving someone's life because they didn't want to be saved. They're like, ah, oh, fuck, you know, well, what was I supposed to do? Just let you die? Like, well, that's what they wanted. Like, oh, all bad. Ooh, a research point. I don't know why I'm picking up all the wood, because I don't need wood, I need cloth, but you know. Scrap is scrap. Uh, mackerel. Rail. Uh, cod. Da, 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 da. I think we need to stay more like coastal. Like on the shore if we want to find stuff to dredge up like here. shipwrecks actually um, by the Gale Cliffs, which is around the other side over here. Do I have a... Oh, there's a camera. Ooh, okay. How's that work? Ooh, oh, okay. So I can actually like do full photo mode so we can zoom in. It's not very fast at zooming in or zooming out. Roll the camera. That's pretty cool. Up and down. Hold the overlay. Okay. And then take photos. So can I take a photo of my glorious boat? My ship gone. Where is it? my ship? There it is. Take a photo of my glorious boat. Oh, e my boat face. Action shot. Now I don't know where I can view that. Do I have like a a camera like bit or? Is it just like tip screenshots that I have to find in the folder later on? Like on my PC. Because it made the screenshot noise that Steam makes when you take a screenshot, so. Exactly. You know what it's about, Synlink. <laughs> it's like how now, um. Uh. Uh, it's a shabby boat. It's always got character, the boat. <gasps> Ooh. What goes? Beep, beep. People like doing when they're filming stuff with like their phones now. They like they hold their phone upside down and swing it backwards, and that gives like a really cool-looking action angle, which like you wouldn't think you'd be able to achieve with just a little phone. But I tell you what, like the actual quality of some phones now are really, really good. Especially I think like the Google Pixel camera. I think everyone goes on about that one. It's a very fine boat. Uh, it can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with instrumental horrors. Uh, that's more than US Army can say about itself. If you please this be movie. Yeah, no. They're absolutely the worst uh, when it comes to interdimensional horrors, especially on the oceans. Like Mega Wolf Shark versus Giga Squid or whatever it is. I remember watching one of those B-movies. Hey, it's Sam! <laughs> <laughs> Those orcas are coming to tip your boat over. I know. Th I remember reading about that. It's very scary. Uh, but I was saying, in, in a, I watched a Boo movie. Uh, and I think it was like Mecha Squid or something, or Mecha Shark versus something. And there was a scene where obviously this guy is like working at a green screen, like CGI imposed monitor and controls. Uh, and that certainly looks terrible then. But then there's a flashback later on in the in the film 
where that's included, but they didn't include the CGI bit, so it's just the same guy stood in front of a green screen in the flashback. And it's just peak B-moviness, it really is. And then, yeah, uh, remember hearing about, like, actually, I don't know if it was from you, someone, or if it was someone else, but hearing about how, like, a, uh, a mama orca, like, tipped a boat to save her babies kind of thing, and then she taught her babies how to do the same. So now there's like a pod of walkers out there that know how to tip boats and they'll probably go on and teach others. So, uh, that's fun to know. Uh, oh no, I didn't want the camera, I wanted uh, spyglass so I can see if I can find any more scrap or like cloth. Because we need cloth. Uh, any cloth? Any takers of cloth? Cloth? Anybody? No? Cloth? Uh, uh, what you mean in, um, these ones? Yes, I, I have gone through and I have exploded quite a bit. Uh, well that was just wood, I think. Need cloth. Cloth? Got metal. We no metal, we need cloth. Lovely place for a holiday. Indeed. Wood. Hello. Too far away. Too close. I can't see what that is. Uh, let's back up. Let's see what we're dealing with. Cloth. That's what we need. And what about you? Or metal. Hear something growling in the distance. There it is. There he is, right there, the bastard. Friendly local just wants to say hello. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Twisted Cliffs Family Resort. Your soul never wants to leave again. Like it. Hey. Uh, I think we only need the two, but we'll get as much as we can. Because we'll always be needing stuff for further upgrades. Uh, what's my spacing like? Can I fit? I can fit a 4x4, so let's pick up some metal as well. But oh. Where did Winnie go? When did you leave? Didn't know she left. Let's head back towards the center and uh Oof, up, it's behind me. I think we're safe. I think we lost him. Where's the where's the doctor? Is cat overboard? No, Winnie. <laughs> sure, she'll be fine. She can take on any demon. She kills spiders for me, so you know she gets all work done. Oh. Uh, shipyard? No, we didn't need shipyard. Although I can just pop everything in storage from here. I think. Uh, oh, you can sell scrap. That's good to know. Uh, storage, 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 and storage. And if I look at my storage, it's going to be a horrible mess. I've got plenty of metal, I don't really need to look at metal again. 
Uh, so floating dock. Let us upgrade to a new hull. Oh, we can't. I haven't got the money. But we will put the cloth in. Uh, oh, I took that. That. need is to make some money. Which we will do on this day. <laughs> uh, th there will be Dredge, a uh, Dredge 2, Eyes in the Shadows, revolutionized the private security sector. Big Pharma found new applications for ectoplasm in treatment of man flu. Cthulhu cult adventure vacations cause a revenue surge all across the tourism industry. Calling it now, mark my words. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Play the shit out of that. Little with like a little kind of like hotel builder for cults and, you know, like a industry manager for the Big Pharma. Absolutely. All, all on board for that. Uh, let's see, so what have we got on... I actually don't see many. Uh, we've got stonefish, perch, uh, salmon. I don't know what's, like, the best, um, like, space to price ratio fish to get. Yeah, I haven't... Ooh, delfish. That'll probably be worth a bit. Sailfish is too big for my ship. Okay, no, there we go. Got it. <laughs> that were a big boy. Uh, I think purchase just one by one. They look like they're small. Yeah. Stop fishing. Oh, if I leave it, I can get the uh, yeah, trophy fish. That is interesting. Eyeless and mindless, driven only by the desire to consume, a purpose satiated many times over. That is a gnashing perch, ladies and gentlemen. It's literally a fish with a just like it's all mouth, hardly fish. Uh, do, 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 do. Going out to sea to make a, a perch chase. Get it? Perch chase? Like purchase? Okay, stop now. No, I get that. It's good. I'll give you. I'll give you a solid seven out of ten for that. Solid seven out of ten. A sin. Uh, have you ever read up about? Uh, like koi fish, apparently they do form uh, communal groups if you put them in groups of like four. Uh, so like they'll assign, basically they'll like self-assign roles for themselves. So if ever a predator attacks, um, like the A koi, uh, the B and the C will all kind of spread, leaving behind just the D koi. <sighs> Glad you liked that. Glad you liked it. Uh, what's she saying? Uh, I'll still buy fish that aren't totally fresh, but if it's completely turned to rot, I can't pay you anything for it. That's fair. Sit a little fish. Oh, just got an achievement. Sell a total of $2,500 worth of fish. Uh, return to town. Uh, we now have enough money to complete our hull upgrade. So we shall do that. We have upgraded to Tier Tull. Tier Tull? Yeah. 
tier two hull. Uh, and now we can go on to uh, another engine space. Uh, adds four new cargo space. What? I can make the cargo bigger? Let's go. And but this is well. Ooh. <laughs> they would probably fight the Predator too, but if they were less than four, they would be too coy for that. I like it. I like this lot. You're going to fit in just right round here. Same. I can tell that. Tell that right now. Uh, oh yeah, because it's changed my like light arrangement and everything as well. How good of you to join us! Hey! Sindlink has joined the Legion of Honk! Welcome, fellow clown. You are now indoctrinated into the wisdom and wise clown kingdom of the Big Top. Where we all float down here. Uh, right, what do we do now? A kind of like so. Well, we're on our, we're there, we're, uh, it's getting like uh, task paralysis. Uh, we need to do more of the relics. So let's let's finally take the dive and go to the, the middle of the stellar basin and, and try and find this uh, goddamn relic that the collector wants. Now a little bit beefier. Have I now got more things on my boat? Has my boat actually like changed shape? I should have paid better attention to it. Ooh, I love a stellar basin! Yeah, yeah you do. Uh, oh, we're a little bit off. We'll head between these. Uh, this one here. Another perch. Uh, ooh, fish that we have not encountered. Let's. Oh, I was gonna say let's fish it, but now it's gone. What about you? Are you new? You're new. You look like a new material, if anything. Uh, oh, you look like a research point, I bet. First try. Yep, it's a research point. Nice. Um, hmm. It is now late. Oh, no. Whispers. We don't whispers. Uh, we're going to change to the haste. But we can get away from things. Ooh, that is... Again, we're kind of now moving away in the wrong direction. Uh, it sounds good, but I totally expect it to be rather badly maintained, less than stellar. Mm hmm. It's eyeball o'clock. Yes, it is. But if I avoid all the scary stuff, I think I should be able to survive a night and not be totally freaked out. It's only when like those these whisper clouds like get me, then it's a problem. Uh, let us go around. What is that? I just saw like blue sparkly stuff in the distance, and something red in the distance. I don't think I should have come here at night, guys. I like a jellyfish? That is indeed a jellyfish. I hear a dog. I hear a dock. Can I dock here? I'm going to dredge this. <laughs> Nothing bad ever glows. No, it doesn't. Absolutely not. Oh shit. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's alright. We're fine, we're fine. Also, dog. Dog always good. Dog is always good. I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, it's like a little, little island area. This is quite a pretty you think I not I don't trust the jellyfish, I'll be honest. I feel like the jellyfish are gonna be like a bad thing. I can hear dog, but I can't see dog. Hello. 
The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. The green glimmer of an aura blooms the night sky above the resort. A distant boom shakes the thatched roofs and rouses dreamers from their sleep. The waters withdraw, exposing the coral to the warm air. Confused creatures chitter and seek out their hiding places. Moments later, the waters return, crashing, seething, sweeping souls out to sea. Oh! Charming! So I'm guessing there was like some sort of like volcan volcanic eruption or... Uh, oh, I have explosives. Let's, uh, let's do that. Boom! There's refined metal here. Can we, can we see Duggo? Can't see Duggo. Well, it's funny you mention that about the uh, anglerfish because there are. I've discovered that at night time there'll be out things out there that look like fellow sailors in their ships. Uh, but when I get too close, they reveal themselves to be just giant fish <laughs> with like ship like. Oh, there's Doggo! E look, best boy! Respect. There is a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. It, it, its technique is ineffective. Uh, you jump off the boat into high, thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Uh, throw some fish towards the dog. You throw some scraps into the water near the dog. It pounces at the splash and swallows seawater. Didn't really want it to swallow seawater. Slowly approach. You wade towards the shore. As you get near, the dog backs up uh, a little ways. It sits. <laughs> throw some fish towards the dog now. You throw scraps towards the dogs, uh, which land the sand. The dogs eat them along with a mouthful of sand. I don't want the dog to eat sand! <laughs> Pull the dog. You make soft, encouraging noise, and the dog cautiously approaches. Let's stop just at reach. Hold some fish in my hand. I hold some fish and scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins uh, soon looking at them. Nice. Pat the dog. You reach out, gently pat the dog. It eyes follows your hand, and it seems to understand that you are not a threat. I'm not a threat. Let me pat the dog. <laughs> pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Pat the dog. You pat the dog again. It seems to be enjoying it. Pat the dog. Pat that dog. Pat that dog. Pat that dog. Uh, my dog <laughs> will sometimes just eat soil, not even food there, she'll just <laughs> lick up the dog for no reason. Yeah, dogs... Dogs are special breeds sometime. I'm waiting, I'm hoping that there's going to be an option for me to take the dog. Leave. Uh, you make your way back towards the boat as you're wading out. You hear the slushing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop to turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts said questioningly. Let it follow. Let it follow. You continue this time with the dog alongside, its tail's wagging so hard it beats the water into a throttle behind it. Yay! When you get the boat, you turn around and you pull the dog on board. That's because the dog's coming with us. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Maybe you can find this dog more permanent home. Uh, I would like to do that. Where? I don't know. We'll go... Mm. Uh, pat that dog, pat that dog. Yes, pat that dog. Uh, the best quest in the whole game right there. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's go to Stillport. Hello. I heard something. No? Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to abandon... Stellar Basin for now, because we have a new high priority mission, which is to find Dog Home. through in my head like 
where can dog live? Because, I mean, we could try Greater Marrow to see if dog can be dog, dog, dog. Why is that able, uh, still there? It's not even spoof time. It's, um... Are you just barking on my boat? Uh, it's like a thing, so like it will grow more overnight and then throughout the day it will decrease depending on like if you have uh, skill or traits which will like slow down its duration of growing or you could just rest and it will get rid of it completely like straight away but it will take time to uh, disappear depending on how freaked out you are. The fog is behaving, uh, it's as though it's reacting to the lights that cut through it. It swirls and crashes against the edges. From the top of the lighthouse I can see dark figures seething in the thickest tracks out beyond Little Marrow. Uh, the lights are dwindled. Uh, of all that I've seen, your lights seem to anger them the most. Uh, what do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? Uh, that's... he's... Uh, I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for all of us. Uh, some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. Uh, but I know he's gone. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. There. Do you want a dog? What can I do for you? Do, do, do. Oh, I should get back to twitching. Okay. Uh, well, the dog can't live here, apparently. Can I just put the dog in my storage? <laughs> I don't really want to take the dog out at, like, night and stuff. Because I don't want to lose the dog. Dog can't go overboard though. Good. Worth noting, uh, he is literally unable to. Fair enough. Dog, you're going in storage. You're going to look after my research pieces. Guard them with your little fluffy life. Does just he just box when you select him, deselect him. Right. I okay, guess so that's all our wood. We've got six wood, five like regular battle scraps, and we've got some refined metal. It's good to know. Uh, sounds like uh, my dog makes noise if I try to pick her up and move her. Yeah, you know, I, well, Winnie does the whole cat activation noise when you, like, pet her if she's, like, just been lying down. She does a, like, little, uh, I think it's called, like, a trill, I think you call it. Right, so dog secured. Don't think they can die. They don't have, like, a freshness meter on them or anything. follow this wind because it's got like an aberration what is going on here hello inspect excuse me how fresh is this dog 
How fresh is that dog in the window? A slab of rock juts from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. So is this... hmm... I feel like these are puzzles. Like I have to put curved fish in the rock slab? Like one of maybe each of these? That's what my, my, my Fletch thinky brain is telling me. Do like a puzzle. I am a fan of puzzling. So like this wouldn't go in there because it's straight. I need bent fish. It's Beard Gamer Craft. Hi Jack. How's it going? I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good weekend, uh, a lovely weekend. Welcome into uh, the nice little fishy stream of dredge with Eldritch Horrors. Ooh. Oh, f I barely touched it! I really hate how weak the boat is. Like, literally love, like a little love tap, like, nope, you've lost a fish. Uh, being good buddy, got back from the family. Oh, nice. Ooh, that's wrong button. Fishmonger, take the fish that I didn't lose and be happy about it. Uh, ship price, <sighs> repair my ship. Because I am a noob who can't fucking sail properly. Uh, I've just realised if we're going fishing, because uh, I believe, from what I understand, uh, do, 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 sin. it's such a negative thing to say. You didn't uh, lose a fish. You optimised the cargo. <laughs> I made myself lighter and more efficient in getting through the waves. Uh, you let the eels go back to their family. Mm, yeah, I did. Eels. So we probably will need to buy. This, uh, this, what have I got at the moment? What's my. So I got an oceanic, and this one does what? Coastal and shallow? So well, I think what I need to do really is if I go to. I need to get this. I need to get this rod. Because it's so versatile. So I just need two more research parts. And then we can get that. That is a mighty oh, thank you, thank you. The the fishing pole is quite good too. Um, but um, uh, uh, research, uh, research yes. Yeah. So I need to get the 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 versatile rod. The uh, and I have like the abyssal one. And so I think eventually I will need all three of these together. Maybe not because that one does abyssal as well. Oh no, so I'd only need these two and the one that just does mangrove because. An anti tangle line, apparently. Uh, engines. Uh... God, that's actually quite a speed upgrade, that one. Bots. I haven't even looked at doing that yet. Oh, I should really do. Really should do nets. It lasts for two days. Oh, right, okay, so it doesn't actually. Let's be 10 times per day. Right, okay. I'll need to work out how those work at some point. Uh, right, we're getting distracted. What what were we doing? Uh, I need uh, I need more rod space. Is what I need actually. Um, so again, I need more cloth. Modify three cargo spaces to hold uh, also hold rods. So I should do that because then I'd get better rod storage. it'll do these three. Uh, so we can do two. We'll pop these in here now, so one, I don't have to keep them in my storage. Uh, 
We also get to look at our dogs sleeping every time we come in here. Does the dog have a name or is it just dog? Shall, what shall we name our dog, chat? What dog shall we... What dog shall we give the name? Try again. What name shall we give the dog? We have a Bruce. I like the name Bruce. Bruce is a strong name for a dog. <laughs> Sir Wiggles Van... Barkington is another strong contender. Hello? I don't trust you in the slightest. Second Sir Wiggles. What well, looks like Sir Wiggles uh, might be a winner here. Uh, I'm. I have to say, I'm more drawn to Sir Wiggles than Barkington. Change my vote to Sir Wiggles. There we go. There we have it. Unanimous. Dog is now called Sir Wiggles von Barkington. So this, I, this must be fake. Like, is this like a giant? Or is it? Oh right, just disappeared. So it's like a, a reverse mirage. Well, no, not like a reverse mirage. It is literally a mirage. Nope, go away. Fuck, it's the wrong thing. Oh, I've been spooked. Oh, and there's a tornado! Oh, fuck! Oh, hello. Three-headed cod landed on deck. Well, we're taking that back. I've lost an engine. Uh, it's a beast. Uh, speaking of dogs, I need to go walk my wiggly dog. Uh, try not to die while I'm gone. I will try. I can't be making no promises. I'll try my best not to die. It was nice of the uh, the twister to give me a three-headed god, but also a bit of a bitch to knock out my engines. Quick, get the spare engine from the kitchen cupboard. Well, it, it's, regardless of how I, if I have the spare engine, it can't place it. I think it's actually damaged the slot. Yes, so it's damaged the slot, so the slot doesn't work. Which is a pain. Ah, uh, no. Uh, no. Not allowed. Go away. Ow. Not fun. Uh, oh my god, it sells for $88. Fucking have it. Uh, which means I make a profit of fifty dollars, fifty-eight dollars, because I have to repair the bloody ship. Ugh. Pain, pain in the backside. That is. <laughs> well, without a spare engine, you got to let your dreams go home. Dog tax. Uh, I believe that might be a link. Unfortunately, I have auto band links. Uh, I don't know if... Beard, if you're still an admin? I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know if links can be retroactively pop popped through. I, I can... Well, I think we can all easily imagine it's a very cute looking dog that you've uh, placed a link for dog text. Um, right, what am I doing? Where am I going? I keep getting distracted by things. We're going to get the relic. That was like my main objective from the very beginning of the stream. Like, I need to get relic. Am I going the right way for relic? I am going the right way for relic. The good. Is that another dog barking? Or is that... Well, it's not my dog, because my dog's not on my boat. So, Wiggles von Barkington is somewhere else.
Oop, no, wrong button. I wanted to inspect it's metal. Don't really want metal. I need cloth again. Cloth is our main bottleneck. Oh, I didn't hit anything. That was the sound of um, uh, me engaging the haste engine. It does sound like you're getting hit by something, though. Again, I've arrived here as it's getting night time. So I'm terrible at this game. Uh, Alright, so I need to get to... Oh, is that another message in a bottle? Do like a good old message in a bottle. 14th September 1972. Let's have a read, shall we? Uh, messages. I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fro fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink has run out from some lines here. They are Ill illegible. Shame. While most of what hauled uh, what I, uh, what they hauled up was junk, uh, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A husk came over the crew. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalising discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me his eyes. I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. What did they find? Is this to do with the... Uh, so we got the ninth. Uh, he still refuses to take me aboard uh, when he was working. He went so I find it dull. So is this all the same person? No, 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 so it's, they're not in the right order, they're in the order I found them. I'm guessing between the 9th and the 20th we might find, like, uh, the proposed or something? Maybe? Hello? Oh, is this, like, another travelling merchant spot? Laboratory and generator of research outpost. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to take a look? Uh, we shall open the cupboards. We found a research point. Nice. You empty the cupboards. Where do you want to look? Inspect the equipment on the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. It reads, Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. Where do you want to look? Uh, look around on the floor? You look around on the floor. There are cracks in the base of the structures that grow, that grow to larger gashes as you follow them along the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Why would I do that? Because it has a research part. That's why I would do that. You pluck an item from the garage in the floor. Where do you want to look? I think I've looked at everything I have. Let's look at the generator. An old generator sputters and ticks over. Okay, fair. Uh, so there's nothing really here, it's just a place for me to rest. Which I appreciate. And I will take advantage of for another drink. Good old squash. Very thirsty clown today. It's very warm. I'm a very sweaty clown. It's, um, my study is not the the most like airflowed area, and I can't turn a fan on because you would hear it constantly. Are these tentacles, or are these? These look like tentacles to me. Yeah, that looks like a giant beak. And fuck no. Okay, we're not going there anymore. <laughs> right. Okay. Interesting. 
they were blue and I thought everything was okay, but then turn red and no longer okay. So, uh, giant kraken in the middle of the basin. I gotcha. But the, there's a, right, so, but there's a thing in middle that I have to, like, is it a case of if it goes red I have to run away? The aqua sarlacc. It is the aqua sarlacc. That is 100% it. Oh, my TV wants to turn this off. We're not allowing that. Not at this stage. Right. Uh, such hostility. That was entirely good. I know, right? Oh, I did damage two points. Ah, oh, really, like, awkward points as well. Um. I can't actually dredge anything from in here anyway. I need the Hadal, apparently. But I want to grab. I'm guessing one of these is what I'm looking for. Because there's a. We'll try this one first, because it's closest and out of the way. A ring. Right, okay. So what we'll do is we'll change over to haste. Right, is it going red? Is it is we okay? Ah right, there's the collector's bit I want. Oh, I can get that. Ow! Shit. I need the Hadel net. Oh my god, it just strikes over and over again. But we can dodge it, so that's okay. Right. <laughs> did I just hear things getting a little scary for a moment there? Yes. Yes, you did. Uh, right, it's damaged all of my hull. I need to go repair. <laughs> uh, right, okay. Uh, and I. There isn't really a place for me to... Well, there's a little... Is there a dock here? Can I repair there, maybe? Yeah, like over this way. It's over this way, yeah. Also, I know that was a very delayed message. What was that? That was so scary. It was a giant, like, kraken, like, aqua sarlacc. That's probably the description of it. Traveling merchant, uh, shipyard. Please repair. Oh, I can't sell that to you. Here, can I? Move it to storage, so can't I? Yeah, I can. Uh, Kraken, not famously fans of boats, ships. No, I know. But. I don't need upgrades, I need research is what I need. Right, so we definitely need this. But we also need this. We now have the versatile rod. we upgrade our... Oh, so we need cloth still for that. We are repaired. Uh, docking. Hmm. So, yeah. I think for now what I'm just going to have to do is do a little bit of fishing. Earn up a load of money. 
It's a red snapper. Uh, then once we have a load of money, we can upgrade our ship to have the more rods. Install that better, like volcanic and mangrove rod. Next time, make sure to ins insult its ability to aim where you, while you drive off. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just you know, give it a reason to to want to absolutely wreck my shit. Uh, markets. You can have all my red snapper. Uh, we can actually buy that now, can't we? But it's goes the wrong way, and it costs hundred five hundred and ten. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna rest. Uh, to undock. Fish here. What are you? They move fast. They're big. Barracudas. Great song, Barracuda. Well, she takes her wiggles. No, the traveling merchant. I don't think so. I think there's going to be like a specific quest that I do. It'll be like, oh, you can. Uh, I can't. I'll come across it. It's like, oh, I'm so alone. I wish I had someone to like chat with. Oh my god, what is that? A savage barracuda. The regular barracuda is this ferocious fish is capable of great bursts of speed and hunts by biting its prey clean in half. There. Then a savage barracuda is it thrashes about ruinously, jaws snapping and tearing its own flesh apart, and bodies sundered by ravenous hatred. Interesting. Ah! It's a raid, everyone, you know, batten down hatches, get self get the women and children into the cupboards. We don't oh it's it's worlds of confusion. Raiding. Hi worlds, how's it going? Welcome raiders. Uh, welcome to to the channel. Make yourselves at home. This is uh, I'm the I'm the Fletch Crack Clown Extraordinaire. Uh, <clears throat> and this is my stream. We are currently playing some dredge, so fishing with some spooky horrors. Hello worlds. How are you doing? What were you what were you doing? Uh, uh, I have a thing for this. I have a thing. Uh, quick. Engage stream stuff. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. This is where I find out it doesn't work anymore. Uh, 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 uh. Does that work? Yes, it works! Way! <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm just, I'm laughing at myself. You mean me? Ironically, yes, I do mean me. <laughs> uh, I just played an hour of GTA until I realised I needed food. Yes, no, food is an integral part of the day, so um, need need to get some get some food in. But yes, no, everyone definitely show some love for uh, Worlds of Confusion. She's a an amazing creative mind. Uh, I enjoy watching her uh, her kind of streams for what she comes up with, and what she does. It's very very inviting. So if uh, if we get a chance, pop it over and see, see what she gets up to. But, uh, how did you get on in uh, GTA Worlds? Did you, uh, um, as long as I'm not keeping you from food, make sure you go get food. But uh, <coughs> I, uh, did you did you do any murdering? Did you do any heisting? Or did you do like what some people do and just live like an ordinary human being, but in a virtual world? Ever ever do that in like one of those games? Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, pretty much fun. Uh, did a bit of flying and didn't crash. Excellent, you know. Uh, well, it's, that's quite funny actually. You mentioned that. So local to me, down the A40, not far from where I live, we had a pilot uh, the other day make an emergency landing on the on the motorway uh, on the central reservation between both roads. Looked like a pretty good landing. <laughs> Beard will know because he he lives quite local to me as well. Um, 
yeah, the emergency landing managed to land on the central reservation. No one hurt, as far as I can tell. Uh, obviously, caused a little bit of uh, traffic confusion. Um, and like, there were some people that complained, like, "Oh, why didn't you just land on the one road?" And in my head, I'm like, "What? Well, and just block one road entirely?" The way he landed, like, you could still use both roads. They would have to just go into like single lines. Um, okay, I must go. I will think I also need poopy plops. You go eat and poopy plots, or whichever way you round you do it. Make sure you wash your hands for goodness' sake, you know. And don't mix the two together. <laughs> you don't want to be like soccer in uh, the Avatar, where it's like, you know, we'll just combine our food breaks with our bathroom breaks just to save time. Uh, don't want to be doing that. Oh. Right, let's solo this fish. 252! Nice haul of fish right there. Easily making uh, money again. It's good. But yes, uh, welcome everyone else who's just joined in. Uh, say we're playing some Dredge. Uh, if you've not seen Dredge, it's a fishing game with elements of eldritch horror. I, you don't really know much about your own backstory, but you kind of uncover like lore it's about like all the little villages you come across. Um, we've just come across a location called what's it called? The Stellar Basin, which has some sort of like aqua sarlacc. Um, Kraken thing living in the middle, which is not very friendly at all. Ooh, a coral grouper. The very pretty fish. A totally normal fishing game. Yeah, just totally normal fishing game. <laughs> Do you know, I've still not actually watched that properly all the way through. It's on, on my list. It's, it's not Eldritch Horror, it's just a lot of uncatalogued species in these waters. Nothing a few oil rigs can fix. Exactly, you know. I don't know why I've clicked to fish again, because there's no way I could fit another one of these on here. That's of my poor, my extremely poor, um, like Tetris skills. Uh, if I... Okay, we can, we can store fish in here while I work this out, guys. Don't judge me too hard, I can work this out. We move you up here. That means we can fit at least this one maybe over here. Like this. And then we'll, we'll go sell those, see how much we get for those. Uh, where I've lost where my thing was. Travelling merchant, there he is. There's, there's the travelling merchant. So we'll go sell these. Uh, oh, it's called the Starlight Pontoon. I should have read that first. Uh, oh, it's not as many, not as good haul as the uh, the Barracudas, but it's still still quite good. We're back up to five hundred dollars easily again. Uh, so yeah, so uh, you need to invest a few dollar into a cleaver. It probably helps you to fit much more fish. Oh uh, yeah, right, or, or like a blender. But just get like some sort of like mulching machine and just a few barrels. That would be, because then I can stack the barrels with the fish in. It's not very easy to stack fish on top of each other, they just slip about all over the place. Oh, that's the wrong button again. I need to change to the looking glass. Oh, that's the crab pots. There we go. Looking glass. Oh, grouper. Oh, barracuda. Woods. Need cloth, guys. We need we need to get some cloth before we can do the uh, the upgrades. Some, oh, there's some more. You cloth. Uh, oh no, you're a trinket. We can definitely afford to pick up a trinket. Oh no, that was terrible. That one. There we go. Back in it. Ooh. There we go. Oh no, terrible. Oh god, all these people now watching me just being an absolute fool. Just the game. There we go. We got ourselves a nice ring. Uh, do, do, do. Kimber has been walked and fed a fish treat. Nice. Uh, we discovered uh, Quill that at the center of this um, stellar basin is a very angry um, aqua sarlacc, which uh, just kind of like tries to hurt us uh, whenever it can, and it's uh, yeah goes red and then just kind of shoots out a thing. Not fun. So, um... And I think the thing I need to, like, dredge up is in the middle, but I don't have the right equipment for it. 
because this is like the Hadal area, apparently. And I thought this was more like going to be the mango area. Uh, what's this? Ooh, cloth. Just what we need. That's lucky. Do, 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 do. anymore. No, we're all out of cloth. Uh, it's the reincarnation of that old man with the messy front yard who always yelled, get off my lawn when you were a kid. Mr. Jenkins? He's dead? Good. <laughs> no, I never had, did I ever have any neighbours or any kind of like people that in my childhood who were extremely grumpy? No. Oh no, we did. Yeah, we did have one lady who lived on our road, who would deliberately like put things. So where we'd have like a gar like a path in front of your gardens, she would deliberately put things overhanging from her garden onto the path to stop people being able to cycle across on it. And that was the type of lady she was. I'm going completely the wrong way. I'm going out into open seas, which I don't want to do. Uh, pretty much. I mean, he's very chill as long as you uh, stay off uh, the head or not. Yes. Uh, we had someone in our village who threatened to shoot me with a shotgun if I went on his drive. Nice. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, from some of these stories, like, you, you come across quite a few interesting people uh, in your life and with their, what they, like, make explosives in their garages or, like, hyper-speed tricycles and things like that. No, we didn't really have anyone, like, interesting in that town. We just, uh... <laughs> those are both the same guy. Well, you know, can't really do one without the other, you know? Can't get hyper-speed tricycles without, like, some sort of combustion slash explosives going on. Ooh, what have we got over here? Red Snapper, and there's another robed person? A different robed person? Hello, friends. You approach a hooded figure. Dirty gold robes obscure all features except for a pair of withered and blackened hands. Fisherman, deep, calls, respond. Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluid in their lungs. Wait, hang on. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> We're only doing it the once. <laughs> uh, the hooded figure holds out a scroll. And they tap a shape depicted that looks like a red snapper. No worries, bub. I can go get a red snapper for you. No problems at all, I think. There's one literally just here. Ragusa Cod. It is. In fact, we'll pick up a few. Win for him. <laughs> My favourite salty dog. Oh, you. How you doing, Ragusa? How much more um of Battlebit did you play last night? Uh, yeah, sorry, I had to hop off. I was just getting far too warm in this room. And I don't have any, like, air conditioning or, like, decent fans to keep me cool, so I had to, had to leave. Went on to, like, 11 -ish. Jeez. Get up to anything afterwards, or is it just kind of, like, that was it, and got some winds going on? And that, sir. The hooded figure's holding. Hey, yeah, 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 you're a red snapper. It's fine. A pot sneaked off but never turned the game off. Uh, and then Bond was gone too, and it all fell apart. Ah. They rip through the throat of the fish and tear out its heart. It's in their mouth before you have time to process what you just saw. Scallywags. Another sacrifice. They point to another ship on the scroll. This one looks like a fang tooth. I don't think I've found a fang tooth yet. I don't know where they are. Um. Fang tooth. 
Uh, I could probably guess like where they are from the encyclopedia if I look through. Ah, here we go. Ah, they're abyssal. I don't have an abyssal rod yet. And they're in the stellar basin, so we need to uh, upgrade. Fang tooth. They are. They. Oh, there's a there. They are a tiny boy, like the perch. The perch is a very tiny fish. You can get loads of perch on your um on your boat. Skill on that one. Ooh, we've got some earrings this time. Go with our ring. Boop! It's Thandius. Long time no chat. How's it going? Uh, am I going the right way? No, I am not. We are going towards the lighthouse. Boop indeed, sir. Boop indeed. Oh my god, Sir Thandius. Yeah, I know, right? We have been blessed, truly, on this day. We've been raided twice. Good friends from old have joined in. Damn it, Coltis, what do you think this is? A swimming Walmart? You're sacrificing the fish you get and you're not happy with the one stop sacrifice. Ooh, hello, what's this? Dolphins! Flippers! It's getting dark! You can call the customer line. Customer fishing line. Crash right into the back of the Zeus Island. Oh, look. That's a new sound. Oh, he's seen me. Uh, yeah, no, um. Can't get me. I'm all the way out here. I don't know if I can try, though. Uh, no. Uh, uh no. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I didn't think they could get into like the shallows. I thought it was safer than <laughs> Nope. Um Not scary at all. That was fine. <laughs> yeah, he can't get me. Nearly gets got. Yep. Yeah, that was almost uh, almost a thing. Uh right, let's sell the rest of these snappers. We shall rest till morning, and then sell our trinkets, and then we will look at uh, if we have enough cloth and things to upgrade. Uh, hey Fletch, I don't know the answer to this one, so this is just me thinking. But carry on. You know that cultist sounded like he had fluids on his lungs, right? Ah, <gasps> you don't think. Like the dock worker. He's still there. Well, I'm guessing it might be something similar. Do I have any more trinkets in my storage? I do have trinkets in my storage. Uh, two cargo? Oh, 126. I mean, I've never seen a baby cultist, have you? Uh, yet yeah, they got the Habden Summer, right? Uh, well, uh, uh, perhaps it, that was the vessel of the old mayor. Just yell over that you still got a few questions regarding the declaration of taxes after those donations from the local business owners. This guess will probably flee by some, yeah. But, oh, yeah, by the way, mayor, uh, about these uh, electoral decisions, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Sails off. Uh, I bet the fish did this. How could they do this specifically to me? To me specifically. Uh, well, I think. Well, so, when you say you've never seen a baby cultist. Technically. Uh, I think it's. What's his name? Kenny from um, South Park. He is the byproduct of cultists, I believe. Uh, I may be wrong, and the canon may have changed, but I believe that is the case. Uh, why am I sailing all the way out of here when I don't have what I need to do? Why am I why am I being a big dum dum? Also, where's my bloody cat gone? 
Like I spent all this time making sure she would get into frame and then she just disappeared. <laughs> uh and where am I going now? Where 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 am I just Of course there are baby cultists. Think of all the orgies. Yeah, there probably are like baby cultists out there, but they don't know they're baby cultists. They just they're like the byproduct, but they just don't know that they're the byproduct. Lust for darkness is all about the sexy cults. Mm, don't have it, don't have it, don't have it. Fuck's sake! Again! Literally! Literally like didn't even. Uh, it's the hull of the ship is made of like rice paper. <laughs> I've been joining the wrong cults, and yeah, I did, there's definitely like different types of cult. It, my driving is fine. Like I, it, it, it. Uh, shut up. <laughs> I mean, sure, if I hadn't hit it at all, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> well, so you say that, but there are rocks that jump out of me. There are. That fast moving stationary rock. Leave me alone. Driving's fine. I need, to, I need more research points so I can. I don't even know how I unlock the whole, the whole thing that I need. I do need was it abyssal though I think. Is that in the research was that it was that abyssal? There's not even abyssal, I need I don't know how to get this. <laughs> uh well I do I can do this. I do need the cloth. Space, so we'll, we'll do this as well. Uh, and then. <laughs> I tell you, these rocks are tricksy. They are! They are tricksy. I'm just telling you, like, at the impact, at the speed I hit that rock, it shouldn't have damaged my hull. Like, I would accept a scratch. Absolutely, hundred percent, except scratching. But if it all it takes is a little tap like that to damage my hull, then I should have been sunk a few more times. That's all I'm saying. Rock, you could have used your horn. That rock had really no chance of avoiding it. You guys, you're right. You all think you're just so funny, right? <laughs> I'm tell you, I'm glad none of you would be able to be in my like jury. And they say like a jury of my peers. I'll be like, oh yeah, no, I know all of these fuckers and can't have them because they know me personally. I know too much. You do know too much. You know so much. In fact, I don't know why you're not, you know, on the stand. I mean, you never warned anybody. I think you're in just as much trouble as me. Uh, oh, Bronze Whaler. It's very far I said that then. There's a good old bronze whaler out there. There is. Odd. So, I'm wondering if I should actually... I know this is like one of my objectives. 
Uh, I tell you what, let's go to this side of the island. Though it's getting dark, which is great news. Let's try and find what this other little, like, uh, platform pontoon dock station is. Which is just on the outskirts over here. But we did find some bits in the, uh, the research outpost. But uh, I don't think is this another research? Oh, that's the, that's the re research outpost there. There's the Starlight Pointer. We don't know what this is yet. We're hoping it's some sort of dock. Do the jellyfish hurt? I don't really want to find out. He's a glowy fish. Ooh, we can get a trophy one straight away. Firefly squid. Ooh, pretty. This tiny sparkling squid spends most of its time in the deep ocean, rising to the surface as it nears the end of its life. Oh, uh, it's going to die anyway, so... It's a cute wee squid. It is a cute wee squid. Fetch a pretty penny. We get quite a few out of it as well. Oh, oh another trophy one. Nice. Nice, another trophy one. And that's a bit depleted. I've overfished the area. Ooh. Oh, whispers, go away. I want to read the message in the bottle. Uh, six, seventh of March. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. We're, we're docking, my friend. Researcher, the old fortress. Uh, yes, we will... Researcher. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, um, hello. I was expecting... I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? Uh, I am a fisherman. Ah, yes, I thought you had the look. But a fisherman... Uh, but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help uh, if, I, uh, if you had the time. Uh, what do you need help with, love? Uh... Squiddling is a strangely satisfying thing to say. Uh, well, the water is entitled to its feelings, uh, but look at the squidlet's deadly, beady little eyes and tell me he isn't cute. Uh, the water won't agree, Verena. This is quite disturbed by the squids. It is disturbed waters. Uh, I need help collecting samples to study. I was already posted at the research address on the interior, but it was attacked. <sighs> A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests at the centre of the basin. I fled here and have been making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind, so now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. Uh, you might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. I'm guessing you want this thing. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, well, about these specimens you're after, please take a look at specimens you need, drop them off. Do, 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 do. All right, kids, don't actually tell me. Uh, tell me about yourself. Oh, okay, I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. Uh, there were no other female students in the department that year, uh, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in the in an hour. <laughs> In an environment like that, you know, you probably don't. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a, for, has there suddenly been like a a dead parrot sketch developing in my chat? <laughs> it's not dead; it's pining. Uh, I'm not interested why it's called Firefly Squid. 
Uh, it is. Is it combustible? Maybe. Uh, it's hard not to feel like an outside environment like that. You know, uh, you probably don't know because I'm a man. How would I ever know? Uh, when I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet, out here. Not, it's just machines. But anything else? <gasps> we can probably give it a dog. Uh, what sort of creature attacked you? Well, we got the sense of attacking the research up itself rather than me specifically. It was, uh, I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There are dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It, it's huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I'd guess it's uh, some sort of octopus or squid or an, an enemy. Uh, one of my research vessels was moored around the uh, back of the station. I thought I managed to slip away in that while I was tearing, uh, while it was tearing up the front. Uh, there was a lot of valuable data and equipment I left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Is there anything else? Have you noticed anything unusual since you arrived? Uh, now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack of having to rebuild her, I almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me uh, while I was studying before before she... Research was quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up in my collection nets in my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Or anything else? Mm, nothing. I'll be going now. Um, my storage. Can we dock? Chicago. Uh, I don't want to rest because... Uh, do, 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 do. This dog needs a home! Do you want it? Mm. A dog? Oh gosh, let me see! The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin in response. <laughs> I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I'd love the company for sure. Yes, you should keep the dog. <gasps> dog needs friend. Researcher needs friends. Pursuit resolved! Oh, yes, so oh, thank you. Oh, we're going to have be such good friends. He can he can be my assistant. So Wiggles von Barkington is a scientist! So he's going to be Dr. Wiggles! Suddenly the dog stands upright and begins to retch. Its stomach's heaving. Seconds later it vomits a wet glob onto the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, um, <laughs> interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. Uh, sure. I'll clean the rest up, don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, so we've resolved that. Uh, let us undock. So I can sell the other squids that I just picked up at the, um, uh, the Starlight, which is literally, like, just... No, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go into into here. No. Oh fuck's sake. Oh, it's hit my trophy thing. I don't want to risk something infected actually infecting anything else, so... I don't know what the infecting actually does. I should probably research that at some point. Uh, ooh, can I get another one of those? Yes, I can actually, because it can fit there, so we'll get another one. Ooh, no, come back. Uh, So, Wiggles von Barkington inherited the rare ability, oddly enough, only running in his noble bloodline to puke out expensive jewellery at will. I mean, it's a very interesting trait to have. Literally can't 
it happens at the moment. Well, that's good, you know. Docky dock. Fish market. Mm. So I could actually get that now, so I could sell... This one does coastal and shallow, and this one does do coastal, shallow, and the other one. Yes, it does. So I can literally upgrade that for this. And we can sell this one. And so we can now do coastal, mangrove, volcanic, and oceanic. samples which is the ah, right yeah so there's there's the bit so a glowing octopus a firefly squid and a aurora jellyfish uh, a fang tooth can't catch fang tooth because they are abyssal I think uh, reference crawfish so I don't know uh, if well, actually if we look at under the encyclopedia. Um, ah, so the jellyfish is coastal because we can match the um, the silhouette. Is Stella Basin? Uh, oh, it's a trawl, not a rod. Ah, so I do need to start doing net stuff. Right, okay, that's gonna be interesting. Sturgeon uh, and the other one. Oh, it's going to be, is it going to be in the Stellar Basin also? Was the octopus of some kind? Ah, there we go. That's a shallow and that's rod and pot. Uh, nighttime Stellar Basin. Right, okay, so we can catch both the... I need to work out how to do the trolling. The trawling, essentially. So we can catch the octopus, because we have a, a, a rod. Uh, just got back, have you rehomed some Wiggles? Yes, we gave, uh, well, now Dr. Wiggles, I'm calling them, because they're now a scientist, because they're paired up, paired up with the researcher. So, uh, Dr. Wiggles von Barkington, I, uh, I am now naming them. Are you growling at me? Feels like you're growling at me. Can you attack me from there? Yes, Sir Wiggles Fund Marketing Set Proceeds Position of Research Supervisor to Xenobiology Scientist of the Nerve and Research. There you go. Rickets. Uh, can I pop you? Can I just from here do you to storage? Do I need to be? Yes, I need to be somewhere to actually pop you in the storage. Uh, right. It's now night time. I don't particularly want to be too close to you. Um, how does one find the octopi? Because you definitely come out now. Ooh, I'm going to it over there. Ooh. Winnie is back. Of course, she's now up there, so I'm gonna have to adjust adjust the camera again. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So we need it on. Okay. So 
she is now... As soon as I adjust this again, she's going to fucking jump up again, isn't she? There she is. Kitty cat. Ooh. Oh, I need to adjust the actual camera up. There we go. Uh, lower you out a bit. There you are. Then we can pop you back there, and then I can lock you in place. Lock. And then we can go back to game. Winnie Cam is back and operational. So I'm guessing that's how I catch these jellyfishes with the, the trawling. Not the, with the net, I'd like to just go over them. But I still need to find the octopi. Ooh, there's one. Over there, I saw it. All the way over there. It's you. Nice. Ugh. Medusa Optimus. How charming. Sea snakes up inside you. Eels. Eels up inside you. Finding an entrance where they can. Oh, I don't think I can actually place this one. I've made a boo boo. It's all good. Tetrusted in. Uh, cool. Right. Uh, researcher. Where is researcher? She is behind me. This way, I think. Yep, that's the one. Oh, fortress. Uh, right, research. Hello again, what do you need? Uh, tell me about these specimens you're after. I will pop in. And I can't get this since I start trawling. Oh, it actually tells me to catch style on it. There's a trawler. Yeah. Uh, let's look at him. Dr. Wiggles von Barkington with his bone. Uh, on dock. Because uh, I don't want to rest while the fish is in line. Uh, no. Uh, Fletch, you know how you're such a nice person. Can you shout, Rachel, wake up on stream for me, please? <laughs> Rachel, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Uh, I've lost where I am now. Where am I going? I've gone out to sea. I didn't really want to shout wakey wakey because oh, I've just gone around in a fucking circle uh, because I just remembered that she had a migraine and now I feel bad if I've just dis disrupted the migraine even more. What's that noise? Oh, nope, there's a water spout. Don't want the water spout. Glasses, broken spectacles. But it's okay, she can be angry at me. It worked though. <laughs> Good, so I'm glad it I'm glad it worked. Uh, I hope that she is just angry at you. Uh yeah. 
Is there anything else for me to like? Because it says about the prototype parts. Not safe. It worked, thank you. Yay! A generator. So I can't turn the generator off or anything. Okay. I take it you need to be awake for something. And it just wasn't in case of like Simon being mean. Just sleepy. Just sleepy. Ooh, research parts. Oh my god, this is going a bit faster than normal. Do like a research box. Right, where's the uh, pontoon? It's over there, isn't it? Yeah, in that direction. Uh, sell the rest of these squids, octopus, octopi, fish. Sell you all the octopi. Uh, and then while I'm here, I'm going to pop all this in my storage. Uh, so I now need some metal for the engine bits. And I can increase my hull again. I still wish, like, I knew how to... Oh, I have the one part I should actually research. Like that. I'm trying to see how these actually work. Won't ship yet. So it actually have to go on. Well, I need it, otherwise I can't complete that quest. And I can't. Where's it going to pop it in storage? I can pop it in storage. I can swap out. Cool. I can do that. Uh, what is your favourite pluralisation of octopus? Octopi, octopuses, or octopodes? Um. Uh, I just thought that fish has some kind of uh, clawed leg, but it is just uh, the loop uh, with a bit of scuzz. Oh, I see. On the, on the banner making picture. Uh, my favourite prioritisation. Uh, is, isn't octopus also just like a pluralisation of octopus? Like, you wouldn't say octopuses. You just say, like, that group of octopus over there. Like moose. Like look at all them moose. Look at those whatever. I don't know. But I usually probably go with octopi. Because it sounds like pie. And I like pie. Because hungry. Just let the trawl. Octopus pie, yes. Indeed. Right, so I got the net. Uh, and then no, lower it with X. And can I just? Oh, they explode. Okay, so I don't just go over them. Oh, I picked up the thing I was actually after. So is that actually? In my no, it's in the net. So how do I do? I then just exit the net back up, and it's now in my. How do I catch that? Don't understand how the trawl works. I think that's when it's done. Okay. And that 
the octopus, I would just actually have to properly fish. So I can't fish them. Oh no! Oh uh, no! No 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 no! I can just discard. Oh wait, there we go. In my net, there we go. It's in. I select it from there. Pick up. Uh. Oh, so it acts like its own. Um. Uh, the inventory, essentially. So can I check it while it's down? Can. Draw Nate is great, and I love it. I've not. This is the first time using it, so I haven't really kind of like experienced the full, full use of the draw net. So I'm guessing there's been things that I've seen before. Where really I would have like trawled over them in self um uh like I've seen like glittery things like this. I think that happens. Oh yeah, I got rid of just passive passive fish game. Like it. Uh what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to the old fortress because I've got the last thing I need for uh her research. Uh is the net sort of rented? It's not rented as such. Um, it's just, uh, you have to repair it every so often, like the crab pots. So there's like a continual running cost for them, essentially. Researcher, and then what specimens? Then I can go to here, and then I can go bloop, and I go bloop, and pop it in upside down. Pursuit resolved! Thank you. Um, it looks like you caught all the surface specimens I need. Uh, but uh, yes, I do also need some from deeper down, but I think that's going to be a problem. Uh, did you ever get that fish for the man in the yellow? Uh, no. Uh, so I got the him the red snapper, but I need the abyssal. Uh, stuff to get the fang tooth, I think it is he wanted. Um, I don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper. Uh, develop a device that retrieves some sound from the abyssal zone. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this was over in the research center before the attack. Uh, I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples. Uh, but while I work on that, I need you to read some prototype parts carefully. I suggest you during go during the day. Don't want it all to be reef at night. Is there anything else? Nothing. I'll be going now. Uh, do, 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 do. No, it's a fish too, not a deer. <laughs> One day Fletch uh, might fish up a moose. Well, I mean, they are the natural uh, prey of the uh, the orca, the killer whale, you know, uh, moose. Uh, we'll turn to town. Uh, undock. Uh, 
do 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 do. Is this the right way? It is. Dear, there we go. Hey, look, we'll sell that deep down. Walker are a predator of the moose. They are. I've read about it. Oh, there's another one of them basalt stone chugens. Uh, what are you? Can I fish you? Uh, you barracuda? Ooh, that was bad. Oh, shit. There we go. Back in the groove. It is the barracuda. Ships laid out because they need a four slots. I can't really make another four slot. <laughs> I love the way the fish wobble when you move them. What do you mean the wobble there? Wiggle wobble, 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 yum yum fishies. Uh, right, so if I pop you up, uh, that's not going to help because I can't pop you up. But I can pop you here like that, and you... I can't make a four slot anywhere. Because everything is just... annoying. I'm going to have to give that fish up. Oh, Winnie's on the move again. Oh, I think she's going into her bed. Which means I'll have to adjust the camera again in a bit. Right, we'll just have to give up on that one and... Uh, sell what I got over at the... Uh, where's the uh, pontoon over that way? Start up pontoons that way. So we'll go sell what we've got so far. I don't think he bothers with you if you just move over quickly. It's like it's when you actually like stop. That's when it becomes an issue. Sells all the fish from both the trawl and the net. Nice. Uh, fuck it, I'll rest here as well, actually. I'll be docking rest. And then I will pause, and then we shall readjust the Winnie cam. Can. Adjust it down into the. There we go. Ooh. I think that's good. I think I think we can deal with that, can we? Lock that. Lock that. Where it is? There we go. <coughs> anything, I don't think. Uh, research, do I have any research parts? No, I do not. Oh, we didn't read that message. Um, we are engaged to be married. Uh, we are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to a very, to the very center of Stellar Basin. Ooh, to see the lights. We talked for hours. That's something we've not done in such a long time. Waiting and hoping. Some time past midnight. As we are growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above, and I turned to see his reaction. He was already down to on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know what I said. I know that I said yes. Uh, the ring is beautiful, with uh, a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off it. Yes, I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's given that it occurred at the conjunction of days, but I feel that the news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. There. Yeah. Uh, 
so they got engaged in March, and then uh, did the honeymoon in. When did they do the honeymoon? Uh, uh, second day of honeymoon. Oh, so it is going in chronological, chronological order. So once I get everything, I would be able to read out and get the whole story. That's good. Uh, do, 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 do. Illuminating the netherworld with a dull glow, with a few predators species spreading rapidly. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go and, because uh, I think pursuits. Uh, catch fang tooth, collect all samples. I did collect all samples. Oh, then needs. No, we need to collect prototypes from the research left behind. Okay. okay, we can do that now. Get the uh, prototype parts. Where do you want to look? Put it on the table. feeling that like her idea will be to do something with the generator to make it like make a lot of noise so the uh, kraken will be distracted while I do like fishing in the center or I could be just overthinking it'll be a case of like you just have to try and fish and not get hurt kind of thing. Have those prototype parts you asked for? Excellent, let me assemble the device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. Uh, it's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. Uh, oh, I've already put them in. Cool. Uh, wait, what do I do now? Do I take these? Sampling device. Ah, I see. Do I need to install it? I can't. Because controller. To storage? What in the storage? Uh, I've now developed a repulsive machine that produces bright light that emits high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking uh, or enrage it. I'm not sure. Mm. Okay. Uh, connect it to the... Uh, uh, connect it to the research app for so You'll need to return and re-engage every four hours. But other than that, yeah, it's completely automated. Cool. Right now, take a look at the list of specimens. Remember, you want to install and uh, activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Right, okay. Cool, right. Aha! Right, I can now work on this. Perfect. also need to increase like other stuff I need to do more like uh, trawler stuff so I can actually cool right, okay good to know well what I'm gonna do is we're going to sell what I will get from the trawler on this occasion then I will uninstall it and reinstall the new thing that we just picked up then we will in 
install the device at the uh, generator. And we shall see what happens. Suck it. Uh, and then we will uninstall this from storage. Go to storage, grab this thing, which will allow me to have to cut it. That's what I want to do. Installed it upside down, but that's actually fine. Now allow me to do abyssal fishing. Ah, that's going to be the. Uh, go ahead to find that. and see if it actually does anything. Generator. Gone. Definitely uh, not happy. Right. I kind of not close to the Right, okay. But I do need. God's sake. <laughs> so can I can I get anything from here while I'm doing this? It says. Look like any abyssal. It's a doll. No, 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 no. It's coastal. Shallow. What the fuck was she on about then? Type something, something, magic stones. Yeah, the basalt, the pillars. Protrusions. They give me visions and things. And there's a couple with like weird uh, carvings and slots in, which I think are puzzles I need to solve. Like I've put certain fish in, I think. That was. sell this thing. You can uninstall it. I can't sell it to storage. Uh, is there anything I can sell? Uh, oh. Uh, I will sell you for now. I can sell you as well, actually. Sell. What you, what you need repairing. 
I'll sell that for now. I'll buy this. Install it. Don't want to do that. Storage. Now, should be able to get the things. If you watch as soon as I get out there, it will stop actually killed instantly. You watch my, you mark my words, it's going to happen. Yes, there we go. Ah, that might be the relic. On the Aztec Stone timer, are we? We are, apparently. Never one of here, might as well do these other fishing bits as well. As I can. Ugh, it's not pretty. Wait, what, what have we got here? Are you also something new? Some sort of like. Lob snail fish thing. Uh, I've got to take that as the timer of the noise of it. it's coming back. Don't be here anymore. But we've got a couple of things. the other thing we were looking for? Oh, we're definitely looking for this thing. Is it the, um, the fang tooth, I think it was called, or something? You can go here. Uh, the small fang boy, yeah, small fang boy, wherever that was. That was like, uh, out somewhere. Ooh, what's that? That's a bissel. A tuna. Oh, I can't get any of the uh, oceanic things anymore because I've taken them out of the way. Researcher. What do we need? About those specimens. Uh, so we got your this boy. This boy. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. We got this boy for you. Jiggle. And then I will briefly go off and catch the other thing that we need. Which I believe. Probably gonna be quite close. Uh, I think there might be one over here, maybe. Loose jaw. Oh, interesting. Oh, ooh, that might be a fangy boy. That we need for the guy in the golden robe. This one? No, not this one. That one. This one over. It's a fang tooth, a little boy. And there's more fang tooth out there. Ooh, ooh. And we need that one over there. Uh, 
An anglerfish. Right. Let's go turn in the anglerfish and then we will go find the uh, the robed figure, hopefully again, and give him his uh, his fang boy. If he's still alive. Don't see why he wouldn't be. Tell me about those specifins. Specifins? Specimens. Hmm. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear? The bad news, please. The bad news is the samples you retrieve from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. The good news is that I've honed in what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. Uh, that thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. Oh, sorry, just having a drink. <clears throat> I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings uh, immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. Uh, you've done all this for me and I've not got much to say thank you with. Uh, you should have this. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it will be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. But you're near the basin. Uh, right. Do we remember... ...where, um... ...Matey Boy was? Uh, for the figure in gold. Yeah, on the aisle between Gale Cliffs and Stella Basin. So he was about like he could be anywhere around here. I guess. Should have marked him with my uh Chilling out between these two two rocks. Maybe not. Don't see him. That's annoying. Just go do so, unless he's over here in this like lit up area. This is him. No, this is just another like. There he is! Expect another sacrifice. Uh, they point at the. Uh, yep, yeah, I've got it for you, mate. See here, it's a bit stale, but hopefully. They bring the small fish up to the mouth and bites where the heart is. Their cracked lips part to reveal row of sharpened teeth. Sense an opening. Uh, they unfurl the final scroll to show a blue crab! Um, which is. needs a pot to catch a blue crab. I'm going to mark you on the map so I don't forget where you are. Uh, 
place a marker A, uh, you will be. be no, no. Uh, remove marker, please. Remove. Uh, you will be placed here. So I will remember where you are. And then we'll have a quick look at the encyclopedia. C. Locate, locate a blue crab. I don't think it was that one. Although it probably would be near the stellar basin if it was. Was that the blue crab, maybe? We'll ask him again. Let's have a look. Just take a better look at what he's. seen me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so it's got two little nubs at the bottom and four legs there. Let's have a look. It's not that one. And it's not the common crab. Oh. It's going to be one of these other ones. Not that one. But oh, it is that one. It's this one here. So it's still a basin, uh, day or night, in a pot. Oh. Uh, we can probably get, like, a good pot to do that one. Uh, what time is it? It is quarter to three, so I probably will be only streaming for another 15 minutes because I am getting more and more warm. Oh, fuck me, it's the thing that I don't want to catch me. Leave me alone, please. away guys, it's all good, we got away. Uh, oh, actually, I need to return the uh, the relic as well. Um, we'll do that now, so we make sure that it's it's done. So we shall try, it was close, uh, we shall try the spell. Bloody hell. Oh, I see. We don't like doing that because that does instantly freak me out. Just wanted to hug me. Well, you know, there's a time and a place, consent and all that. Uh, the ruined mansion. Result resolved. A jewel encrusted band removed from inventory. You walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. <sighs> We're certainly making excellent progress now. And I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, your due a reward. He opens the crimson book, its spine crackling audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud the words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. You hear a growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly your vision flares and both your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Nope, she's still, she's still bathing. She, uh... The void must be clean. Clean, pure void. Uh, <gasps> do it. This big da -da -da. Banish. What does banish do? Banish. These banished words will provide you temporary protection from most things. If spoken swiftly enough, they can be used defensively. 
choose your moment carefully. Uh, the more they are spoken, the more they are understood. Hmm. Are there any powers that you wish to know more about? Oh, cool, I've picked up Banished. Back. Back. Right, so, uh, I'm going to rest here. To get rid of... Uh, I'm going to rest for an entire day. Didn't have any fish on me, did I? If I did, that'd be rotten by now. Here we go. Whole day of rest. Undock. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, pursuits. So, find a blue cab. Catch a refresh. Search for relics. Well, we can do that somewhere else. Please put another thing on our map. Twisted Strands will be our next kind of go-to for relics after we uh, do a bit more fish. How are we doing for money? Uh, not great, so we'll need to do a bit of uh, more fishing to get that sorted. Um, we'll go back to the Stellar Basin, where we will uh, repair some pots. And we will do some crab fishing to get the blue crab for the guy in the gold robe. And also we'll probably do like a, a bit of fishing just to kind of stock up our cash reserves for like our next few upgrades and whatnot because I'm going to assume that they're going to get expensive. Uh, is there any... Oh, hello. Walkers again. Uh, blue mackerel. I was going to say, are there like any of Abyssal or uh, Nadal stuff out here? There's an Abyssal thing. Out here. It says where? Oh, it's just here apparently. Here we are. Ish. Uh, a viper fish. kind of stuff. I'm gonna let that one over there. That's the one we want. That was too early. I think. Oh, it only got the one. Okay. Alright, let's find uh let's carry on to Starlock Pontoon and sell these fish. Fish! For a barracuda? I have room for one barracuda. Well, it's going to be a trophy one if I do. Nice. Noise. Yes, I'm heading towards the Starlight Pontoon. To yeah, <laughs> fuck off! I know what you are. You're not another ship tooting back. You're a scary monster, tending to be a boat. Let's settle fish. That was a bit like, do I want to just buy one of these? Because uh, I could sell these little pots. I mean. So I want to repair them to get them. Um, and then buy 
Other ones. Oh no, I buy them from the fish market. Uh, 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 what one should I buy? We've got, so we got uh, 4x4. 4x4, both of them. Well, this one lasts us for six days. So we'll buy one of those. And we will pop it out to see. Uh, oh, it tells me in the encyclopedia, I think, what. between zero and five meters. Night and day. So, I mean, this is like between zero and five, so we're just probably right here. Leave it there, we'll come back in a, a day or two. Issue there. Uh, is there anything in here? Like a doll slash nailfish. Uh, oh, there's that thing. Oh, hello. What the fuck was that? Oh, a jellyfish just popped at me. Oh, that didn't damage me. Did it? No, it didn't. Oh, right, okay. That freaked me out just for a second. Oh. Maybe I should have uh, rested. Scare we. It's crab! It is crab. Everything's crab. We're all crabs. Everything will become a crab. Eventually. It's got a little crab icon on here. Where are we going? Have I accidentally, I've accidentally gone a bit too far. There's something there. I was going to activate the um, the Sarlacc repeller and uh, go and see what I can fish. It's a generator. Activate the machine, yes. So the beast should be gone. I should be able to fish in peace for something new and fun. It says. Crab is peak performance. That's what I hear. That is what I hear. vessel. Willing host or sacrificial re receptacle. species. I think it is as well. Uh, where the fuck did I need to take the rare species thing? Uh, bah, bah, bah. Catch a 
Crayfish. Yeah, Gulbriel. Uh, report Gulbriel related to a travelling witch. Oh, right, okay. I think I can do that out here at the. Um, whatchamacallit? Because the travelling witch is all around, so. Found a gold reel, there we go. That's great news. That's my records. <gasps> Two research bits. Fuck yeah. It's gone three o'clock. Oh. Only eleven dollars. It's old. <sighs> cool. Right. Uh, I shall save it there. Save and quit. Save and quit. Are you sure? Yep. I am sure. Oh, God! I am so warm. Like over over the last hour, it has got very kind of like. Humid in this room. Hello, Winnie. Winnie's a little bit awake. Ah, sleepy Winnie. Right, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite sure... Uh, first off, like, thank you so much for Pirate Lassie and Worlds of Confusion for the raids. Uh, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate everyone that kind of stayed in from those raids as well. Uh, I'd like to thank um, Verena Quill for the resub. Uh, greatly appreciated. And thank you, Sinlink, for the follow. Welcome to uh, the, the Legion of Honk. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, right, so it's going to go quiet now while I tab out of game so I can see if there's anyone uh, on Twitch to raid. I think there might be one, maybe. <laughs> see if anyone's going on. Uh, oh, yeah, there is actually. Uh, we might have a. Oh. Uh, high to low. There we go. Uh, we have a choice. We'll have a choice of either going after uh, Clumsy Orca in Baldur's Gate or uh, Cactus Snacks uh, for Divinity, Original Sin. So, uh, either of those, you can make your choice now. You type in BG3 or Div, if, which one you'd rather watch. Because uh, both streamers are cool, pretty cool. Um, Clumsy Orca is very much a very chill kind of vibe kind of stream. Uh, Cactus Snacks. Uh, he's a, a Welsh lad, a bit more chaotic in what he does. He's a bit of a cool bloke either way as well. Um, so yeah, so we'll stream either of those. Uh, I might stream again tomorrow in the afternoon slash evening. I say during the day I'll be with my grandparents helping clear out their pond and stuff, you know, doing the, the grandson duties of just kind of going over, checking in with family, doing a couple of jobs for them and all that lark. Uh, but yeah, no, thank you for hanging out, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, I love, like, streaming for you guys, and I love the interaction and stuff. It's just really fun. Uh, I'd like to do more of it like as I go forward. I hope to do more during weekdays as well in the evenings. If I can get right to it, it's difficult doing a full-time job and streaming. 
during work weeks it's not a uh, not easy um but yeah i'll obviously if you're followed and or if you're in a discord that i'm in as well i usually pop in a note to let you know when i'm going live and stuff so you can keep an eye there but yeah no feel free to share clips and tell your friends say oh, there's this really funny looking i mean funny just funny guy who streams who has a cat I mean, there's a cat cam you know i mean that's all you need to say really and you'll get lots of people in from that uh but yeah so we'll uh till i say it. Uh, oh, I'm going to flip a coin, and the coin has landed with uh, Clumsy Orca. So that's who we shall be streaming, uh, streaming, raiding. Uh, as we go in, of course, we do have our uh, war cry that we will chant as we go in. Uh, that's war cry, not war cry. Uh, so Legion of Honky incoming, copy and paste. Get ready to, to yell it at the top of your lungs and honk your noses as we go in. Uh, to the lovely uh, Clumsy Orca stream, as I am just setting up for now. Is that the raid button? That's the raid channel button. Uh, do, 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 Clumsy Orca playing Baldur's Gate 3. We should start the raid. The raid has started. Uh, but yeah, and as I say, now we're up to 90 clowns, uh, almost reaching in uh, 10 more clowns to reach our 100 clown goal followers. Uh, once we reach 100, uh, I don't know what we'll do. We'll do a special stream. Maybe do it like a maybe a little bit of a giveaway or something. We'll work something out. Uh, I'll play a horror game and shit myself, you know, because obviously this has been not spooky enough for me. But we'll have lots of fun. So yeah, I hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. If not, I'll catch you throughout the week. Uh, hopefully, I'll try to do a weekday stream. And I love you all. And thank you so much. And stay awesome.